Hello everyone, Lady De Winter here, and today we are in Ladies World. Yes, I'm still using my phone camera, sorry about that. Uh, I'm having trouble getting the camcorder to charge. I think it might need a new battery. Anyway, so today I wanted to show you what I call the Block a Day Challenge. It's also how I use up my scrap yarn. Yes, I have tons of scrap yarn. Really, really absolute tons of it. So let me show you how I use my scrap yarn. First of all, here is some of the scrap yarn. I have, as you see, balls upon balls, little balls of scrap yarn here, there. I don't know how that got in there. That doesn't belong in there. But I have all these little balls of scrap yarn. Now, over here, in this bin here, I have more yarn. More yarn, more yarn, more yarn. And back here behind the door, as you can see, I have more yarn and more yarn and more yarn. So I wind up with a lot of scrap yarn. So what I do is I make blocks out of some of it. Depending on how big the piece is, I make a block. Then for like baby blankets, I do something like that or something like that. And I have boy colors and girl colors, but I used up all the girl colors, uh, most of them for a baby blanket for a grandbaby. Now that's a good idea to have this kind of stuff on hand because if you need a sudden blanket, you have it. Now these are some octagons. This is going to be another blanket. Um, it's going to be a stained glass blanket and I will edge that all in black around that and it will look gorgeous. Here's some of the uh, octagons that I use for the octagon blanket. Uh, that's already made. Here's some more little blocks that I use for making block blankets. It depends on the size of the ball of yarn. Like a ball of yarn this size will make a block this size. But a ball of yarn, let's see, do I have any? This size will probably make a block that size and maybe what I call a nubby. Now, I have a whole bag full of nubbies. If I can get the bag open, I forgot to open it. Sorry about that, guys. Um, these are what I call nubbies. They're the center of any block. And that's just a grainy square waiting to be made. That's a granny square. So I know it looks round now, but it will be a granny square. Trust me. There's a little granny square. So, and I always put on the bag what size needle I've used to make them. So that way it's easy to tell what squares are what. So that's how I use up my scrap yarn. Now, sometimes when I have stuff like this, it really makes this pop. It makes these colors in the center pop. So I really like to do that. I really like to use um, variegated or stripey yarn for that kind of situation like that. I think that's really pretty. And, you know, it's like that. So, and that's some of the stuff I do now with Christmas. You can also make tree skirts and stuff out of it. Um, so that's pretty much what I use my scrap yarn for. Awesome, huh? I also work in cotton, which you've seen in a previous video and all, where I made um, a bunch of uh, dishcloths and, uh, oh crap, what are they called? Hot pads, hot pads. I made hot pads. So, yeah, but that's what I do. And it's a yarn a day challenge. Now, somebody said that I should show you guys how I make this stuff. Problem is, I don't have the boom and all that would drop over my shoulder to record that. I would love to record that kind of stuff, but I don't have the proper equipment. It would be very hard to get the right angles with this cell phone, and I can't crochet and hold the cell phone at the same time. So that's where the problem with that is. I'm working on trying to get that stuff, but the kind of booms and stuff for that kind of professional photography is expensive. So I won't be buying that too soon. But there we go. That is my scrap yarn projects. The block a day. Um, I've already made three or four blankets. So that's why you don't see as many blocks here as you would 
normally, you know, for a whole year's worth of work, but I've made projects out of some of them and already given them away. So now as for blankets, yeah, that's my stack of crocheted blankets over there. Uh-oh. I don't know what that is, but yeah, that's my stack of blankets over there. So yeah. So I make blankets and don't mind the crutches. They're just being stored there because I ran out of closet room. I'm not hurt or anything. So anyway, that is my uh, crocheting and that's some projects I have done over there. And yeah. So until next time, this Lady De Winter reminding you that you're never too old to, to learn. Learn to crochet. Face or not Facebook. YouTube is your best friend. Bye-bye for now.